Groucho Lydia Valenzuela and Alexander Mirbach are on deck. So folks, come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Say the secret word, and you, you'll win an extra $100. Now, let's see. Uh, your name is, uh, what did you say your name Lydia was? Lydia Valenzuela is my name. Lydia Venezuela is Valenzuela. your name? Mm -hmm. Venezuela, huh? What part of uh, Venezuela are you from? Well, no, it's Valenzuela, but uh, I came originally from um, Nogales, Arizona. It's a small border town uh, right the border of Mexico and um, uh, the United States. Small Arizona. border town? Mm -hmm. now, how big are these borders? I'm well, it's a very small border. Oh. Are these small boarders who live in this town, or are they just ugly rumors? <laughs> are, are you married? Oh, I'm married. I've been married 18 years. Is this your husband? No, my husband's not in the audience. He is. Uh -huh. well, I better keep my trap shut. No, no, no. He's a good sport. Is he a good sport? Uh -huh. Is he a big shot? A mm, big, big guy? Well, a uh, good size. Are you the boss? He's, uh, oh, well, um, no. He's, you see, he's... He's a heavy-duty mechanic. He's a pretty good... Uh, what, what does he do, your husband? He's a heavy-duty mechanic. A heavy-duty mechanic? What is a heavy-duty mechanic? You mean he weighs 300 pounds? No, no, that's not a heavy-duty mechanic. He works on these big diesel engines. Oh. You know, these days, uh, the wife is expected to share her husband's problems. Do you have any... Does he have any problems uh, with these engines uh, that you help him solve? Well, no, he doesn't have any problems. I'm the one that has the problems. What? You have problems? Yeah, well, I have problems. What do you mean? Well, um, well, all these things he does at work, he goes to work so early, you know, he was in this, well, all these crazy well, shifts no, wait, he gets uh, on. Let's straighten these this out. These are my what? problems. Let, wait a minute. He gets up at 3 in the morning, dishes. Okay. Let's start all over again. What time does he go to work? Well, he went to work at 4.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, wait a minute. He gets up at 3 in the morning and he has, what does he have? Breakfast. He has breakfast. <laughs> Any, that's a strange meal I have at 3 in the morning. I think you'd have night lunch. No, uh, no. No, and then at 4 o'clock, he goes to work. Mm, go, he, he, he's at work. Yeah, does he kiss you goodbye? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. so How many then, times? Well, um, he does. So anyway, he goes to work. How does he, he kiss you? Back. I mean, does, does he kiss you fervently? I, I mean, don't know. I'm half asleep. Uh -huh. so then he, Which half is asleep when you uh, kiss him? The kind that's kissing him. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, he goes off to work and dishes. Come, now, kids get minute. up at seven, he gets up at, Now, wait a minute. He gets up at three, and he has breakfast. Breakfast. He leaves the house at four. Full of dishes. He kisses you ha He's full of dishes? Oh, no. <laughs> he, and then he kisses you half a, half goodbye. And then, now he's gone. Off to work. Oh, how'd you solve the problem? Well, um... He skips breakfast, and then, um... He skips lunch? Well, no, well, yes, sort of. And he, he kisses skips... you goodbye and skips dinner. Huh? <laughs> Why don't you use paper dishes? Okay, I'll get a paper I'll, husband. I'll take your advice. I'll get the paper dishes. Now, your name is... You got the magic word. You just said Alexander Mehrbach, so you just won... No, you said paper. <laughs> So you win $50, and your friend over here, well, the guy with the chin whiskers, yeah. he gets $50. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Alexander Mirbach, that's you, I presume, huh? Yes. Sir. Now, what kind of a name is that? Oh, that is um, Russian, but a little bit mixed with German. Russian? International. Huh? International name, mixed with Russian, German, a little bit. Baltic. German? Yes, sir. You sound like an old schnitzel bunk. Oh, yes, that's correct. <laughs> is that your full name? Uh, oh, no, no, that's not uh, full name. Is that your full name, no, Alexander no. Mirbach? No, that's just the part. Uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the whole name? Oh, the old... The all name is too long. Well, give us about a half a mile of it. Okay, okay. Well, in English, that would be... The first name is Alexander. Alexander. He was a great pitcher. He was with... I remember him with the St. Louis Cardinals. <laughs> then comes in English, Count von Mirbach, and then Duke of Kuland, and then Prince Romanovsky. Now, let's say the whole thing. Uh, well, that is Alexander, in Russian, Graf von Mirbach, Duke of Kuland, Prince Romanovsky, that's all. Prince Romanovsky, you mean you're a real Russian prince, uh, a faker like Mike Romanov, huh? No, Mike Romanov, he's Grand Duke. He's I a Grand know. Duke. Yeah, Grand I... Mike Romanov was born in Brooklyn. <laughs> you think so? I, I know, know so. His name is Henry Geigerson. 
Romanov is always Grand Duke. Yeah. So were you educated in the customary royal fashion, Prince? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Huh? Just tennis play, swim, horseback riding, and then they teach how to become gentlemen. Oh. Yeah. You learned how to conduct yourself as a gentleman, Yes, eh? yes, 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 yes. You know, That's I haven't right. seen one of those in years. Could you give us an example of how a gentleman behaves in, oh, for example, in mixed that, company with a, a paper made over here? Ah, uh, with the lady. Yeah, the lady, oh, yes. Oh, yes. She's, she's from Venezuela. Oh, yes. I'm very glad to see you, madam. Yes. Glad to know you. How do you like that? Does your husband do that when he wow. staggers home at three in the morning? There's nothing like that around our house. No? He doesn't do that? No. You know, if you, you ever have to put... start that. When your husband comes home... <laughs> When your husband comes home at 3 o'clock in the morning, if you put your hand out for him to kiss it, he'd eat it, he's so hungry. Give <laughs> you your whole hand off. <laughs> oh, I'll have to remember You that. tell him that you oh, want your I hand will. kissed whenever uh, he comes oh, home. Oh, I will, I will. Either that or throw him a frozen dinner. <laughs> well, this whole experience has been a little exhausting, so let's get on with the quiz. I'd like to see you win some money, Prince. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, uh, George, will you bring out the questions? What, what was the category, George? Uh, famous landmarks, right? Okay, yes. Okay, you know how to play the game. Remember, your partners. Yeah, take one. 300 questions, 200, 100. No, 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 wait. No. <laughs> see, the, the, he has to see these first, because oh, oh, the answers oh. are on. No, ah. <laughs> not now. <laughs> So you do it one at a time. <laughs> for three hundred dollars, in what city is the Hall of Fame for Great Americans located? No. Yeah. Play around with that. In what city is the Hall of Fame, fame for, great for Great Americans, Americans located? located? There's a Hall of Fame in some city. Now, where is it? What city? Well, Washington. It's, it's New York. New York. Well, don't despair. You have three more chances to make a total of 500. These are tougher than the twos, and the twos are a little tougher than the ones. Okay, uh, okay I take 300. You take 300 anyway, all right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need one. Well, I want to get one. <laughs> For $300, where in the world is the scenic cliff called the Pali? P-A-L-I. I lost. I lost. You can talk it over, you know, your partner. You, you, you lost something? Talk it over with her, because yes. she doesn't know either. Uh, the Polly. Is that right, Polly? Polly, yeah. I don't know. Well, it's Hawaii and the Wahoo oh. Island. Oh, gosh. The point is to get a total of $500. You have two more chances. So you have to get a three and a two, huh? I would figure that that's about the only way. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, George is an old conservative. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, why don't you try a two first? Okay, we'll try a two first. <laughs> you know, it, it might help. Uh, here you are. For two hundred dollars, in what state is the famous Crater Lake? C R A T E R. Crater Lake in Arizona. Oh. Read it out. Oregon. Oregon. Well, well so far it. you're doing great. Well, you have yeah. one more chance. Uh, uh, One more chance, oh, and you'll be on home. the truck with your husband. Another uh, 200 this time. <laughs> yes, sir. You better win some money now. I'm getting tired of this. <laughs> we want you to win. Okay. For $200, in what city of the world is the palace of the Doges? Doges. That Doges. is in uh, Venice. Venice Italy. is right. Well, you got $200, anyhow. Mm -hmm. And you won the secret word? Well, you got the secret white and $200, no. so you got a total of $300 between you. That's not too bad. Thank you very Thanks much. for coming out here. We're glad to have you. And Prince, you're a really a prince. Groucho, we have some uh, very special guests who are waiting to talk to you. And since I think you know them better than I do, why don't I just say, uh, folks, you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Well, well Melinda Marx. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. I'll be a monkey's uncle as well as her father. <laughs> Linda, introduce me to your boyfriend. Daddy, you know Bobby Van. Oh, is that Bobby Van? I know Bobby Van. You moved me into my house. Bobby Van in storage. I remember you very well. How is the moving business, uh, Bobby? Well, you know I'm a, I'm a dancer and a singer. I'm not in the moving business, can't you? Well, you're a very good dancer. I've Thank seen you. you on many shows. In case some of the folks out front uh, may not be too familiar with your name, 
I'll just say that this is one of the new big talents in show business. And from now on, you're going to be hearing more and more about him. What did you say your name was? Uh, <laughs> Bobby Van. Bobby Van, huh? Bobby, where are you from originally? Oh, I'm from the uh, I'm from New York City, Groucho. Really? Bronx. Oh, I Bronx didn't know that. You don't look like a Bronxite. I used to know the Bronx very well. Uh, what was it like when you lived there? Well, it was a pretty uh, rough neighborhood, you know. Uh, there was hunting there when I was there. <laughs> yeah, they were hunting me. <laughs> you say it was rough? A rough neighborhood. You In know, a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the kids were poor and uh, struggled a lot, you know. Not you. You came from a rich family, I imagine. No, I came from a poor family. Oh, yeah. a family of schnorrers? <laughs> <laughs> You know what a schnorra is? No, what's a schnorra? Well, that's all my relatives. <laughs> How'd you break into show business? Well, uh, I was working in the Catskill Mountains uh, up in New York. You know, I had my own band. I was 15 years old, and uh, every weekend, the, the owner of the hotel used to book an act in, you know, to entertain the guests on the weekend. Well, those are pretty tough audiences in those places. You know why? Because they get in for nothing. An audience has no respect for an actor where he gets in free. You need to take an exam. Take this crowd out here. <laughs> if they had paid 10 cents to come in here, they would have liked it much better. <laughs> Bobby, I'm dying to see you dance, so how about it? Are you all set? Yes, uh, Have set you got a, the right shoes? Yeah, I'm all set. Okay, let's head. Do you want music or do you want them to play? Huh? <laughs> Jack and I, we've talked it over. Oh, you have? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Melinda Marks and Mr. Bobby Van. It's reassuring to know that you can make a living in show business, and I'm going to start making plans right now. I'm going to quit working next week and let you support me <laughs> in the style to which you're accustomed. Are you and Melinda going to be partners in the quiz? Uh, yes, I think so. 
Huh? Bobby, what do you do with any money you win? Probably spend it. A shrewd idea. <laughs> and, and you, Melinda? Well, there's a plan called the Foster's Parents Plan, and I'd like to adopt a child. Oh, you're pretty young. Uh, wait, you? let me finish. And you, um... Do you want to wait till you're married or anything? Uh, you send money, uh, $15 um, a week or $180 a year, and you send it to this um, a foreign land, and it takes care of a child for a year or so, or as much as you want to send. Mm -hmm. And this child gets clothing and food and medical aid, and in a sense, you adopt the child. by He sends you letters how he's getting along and so. I hope you answer that adopted child quicker than you answer my letters when I'm away. <laughs> now, how do you know that you're going to win $180 up there? I don't. <laughs> Just hoping. This child may starve in Korea or <laughs> wherever it is. All right, let's go. Mr. Fenneman, would you bring in the questions, please? <laughs> and what category do they choose? Uh, Oscar awards, right? Melinda, you pick the first one. You know how to play this game, Melinda? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. She hasn't watched my show in five years. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the 200. For $200, a non-professional, Harold Russell, won the award as the best supporting actor for 1946. What was the picture? Best years of our lives. That's right. Best years of our lives. You now have $200 and three more chances to make a total of five. Another two? Okay. Another two. Who won the Academy Award for Best Direction in 1961? 1961? Yeah. Um, Billy Wilder. Billy Wilder's right. Huh? You, you may uh, get enough for two children here, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> you now have $400. Something left over for me, too, perhaps. Uh, I'll try another two. <laughs> this will do it. For $200, who won an Oscar in 1951 for Best Actress in Born Yesterday? Judy Holliday. Judy Holliday is right. If this show isn't crooked, I don't know what is. <laughs> well, you now have $600. You're assured of a chance at $2, 5 or $10,000. No, answer dollars. the questions before I get, uh, before I get through. <laughs> you, so you, and you have one more uh, question. This is really sort of on your father here. <laughs> there, take a 300. That's the way to go, kid. <laughs> I want to ask you something. Are you this generous on your show with the money? <laughs> I haven't had my children on my show yet. <laughs> $300. For what picture about World War II did William Holden win his 1953 Oscar? Stalag 17. Stalag 17. Oh, boy, what a show this is. <laughs> and you wound up with $900, which means you'll be back for a chance at two, five, or $10,000. They're going to win $10,000 here tonight. I can see it coming. You better kiss me goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, your daughter Melinda and Bobby Van wound up with a total of $900, so they're back again now for a chance at two, five, or $10,000. Okay, kids. Now, you understand the game. You pick a number for a total of $10,000, and we put it up here. Okay. Uh, four. 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 Now, you pick a number for 5000 Nine. Okay. <clears throat> Now, give the wheel a spin. Well, in a way, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> I never would have been able to explain that away. All it is, here you're going for a total of $2,000. Gracie Mansion is one of the best-known residences in America. For a total of $2,000, who lives in Gracie Mansion? You can talk it over. I think it's, uh, be the, uh, Mayor of New York. The mayor of New York is right. <laughs> well, you've won a total of two thousand dollars. What are you going to do with your money, Bob? Oh, I think I'm going to buy my little son something nice. Oh. My wife something. How old is your son? I'll be a year old. Melinda, you've got a thousand dollars now. You can support Schweinsfuchse uh, or Achtendreizig Neunundzwanzig. I don't know about uh, 
over almost six foster children. Imagine all the letters you're going to have to write. <laughs>